Hey, everybody. I hope you are ready for a new semester. I know I am. My name is Dr. Bruck, and I am going to be your teacher this semester. I wanted to take a few minutes here to go over some basics of our course so that you feel familiar with everything that's going on. And then af after watching this video and reading over this stuff, you still have questions, please feel free to contact me um, via email or through Remind. So this is what your page should look like when you log into Blackboard. I am logged in with the student mode, so it should look almost identical to this. Um, if you click on the week one announcement, this is what I'm looking at right now. So right here, we have an outline of just kind of uh, uh, where things are. So this homepage button, if you click it right here, homepage, it takes you back to the start screen. So if you ever wanna just kind of reset everything, click the homepage and that'll take you back home. The announcements tab right here will be updated every week. And that way, if you need a reminder of what's going on that week, you can check that out each week. Proctorio is uh, an app that you're going to use when you take exams. And you can't, you can't um, take an exam right now. There isn't an exam in there at the moment, but that's where it is. And before your first test, there will be a practice activity in Proctorio that you're gonna do just to test your software and make sure everything's functioning the way that it should. The button that says start here is kind of your, your beginning place. Um, it's got your syllabus, it's got the schedule, it's got information about the lab kit, which is really important. And I also wanna mention it and I'll mention it again too. Your lab kit does not have everything that you're going to need for the experiments. There are lots of materials that you already have in your kitchen that were not included in the kit so that the cost of your kit would not be insanely high. So just make sure that before you do your experiment, each, uh, each time you go to do an experiment, you look over what's in your kit versus what materials you need to supply yourself. Because a lot of those things are just basic home kitchen items that you, you already have most likely. This button right here has some information about me and how you can get a hold of me. And this button right here, instructor email, just how you would send me a message through Blackboard. Um, the course materials and assignments is where you find your homework assignments, your quizzes, uh, that sort of thing. And then here's information on the critical thinking assignment, which is not due until the end of the semester, but it's something that you're going to work on throughout. You will have something due at midterm and then something due at final. This is where you'll take on the exams button, you'll take your three regular exams plus your final exam. Check your grades is where you're gonna go to find your grade. As things are graded, it will get updated in there. This discussion board is where you can post questions for the rest of your classmates and this circle in button up here uh, does a similar uh, feature. This is where you can chat with other classmates as well. The distance education contacts button is where you can find information, websites, um, helping for students specifically in online courses. And then this link right here, the library directs you to the resources that are available there at the library to you. And I will especially recommend that for your critical thinking assignment when the time comes for that. So let's go to the button, course materials and assignments. So this right here where it says read for first, this is information about how to conduct an experiment safely. Um, there are some handouts and there is a, uh, a video about lab safety. And then when you do these two items, you need to download the safety contract. So here are the two files to read, this lab safety information, conducting labs at home, watch this video about lab safety. And then after you've done those things, you need to download this file and sign it saying that you, are going to follow the lab safety protocol 
And then you need to also, and you need to upload that. I'll show you where you can upload it in the assignment link. And then you're also gonna have to take this safety quiz. And the safety quiz must be completed and it must have a 100%. You can do the safety quiz as many times as you want, um, but it must have a 100%. So if you need to do it 23 times, that's fine. There's no penalty if you have to do it more than once, but you must get a 100% on that safety quiz. Um, and then you must upload the safety contract and I will not grade any lab reports until you do that because that's my way of guaranteeing that you are doing your lab safely, okay? Because safety is number one priority. Here's a link of our playlist on, our, on my YouTube channel. It'll take you directly to that. And then the course is broken up into four units. This is also all posted in the syllabus as well. But we're in unit one, so weeks one through four. So if we're in week one, you click on your week. There are the videos that you need to watch. And then here are the notes that go along with those videos. This is your homework. You have Mastering Chemistry for your homework. So you just click uh, Mastering Chemistry and you have to register for Mastering Chemistry. So if you have used a, a mastering product from another course like Mastering Physics or um, my math lab or that sort of thing. You can use that same username that you used for your other course. You would just have to um, pay for this course, this one course. And you can, you can register for that through Blackboard here. But here are your first three homeworks, the introduction and then chapter one homework and the follow up on that. Here's your quiz. And now here's how lab works. You're gonna have two files. You have one file that's just the instructions. So you open this file and this tells you what you need to do. So, so for instance, for this first experiment, these are the materials and you notice all of these are, none of these are in your kit. These are all things that you would have at your home. If something is in your kit, it would have a little asterisk next to it, and that would be an item that's found in your lab kit. But because these are all home items, there are no asterisks next to these because these are all things from your house. So you just download the instructions and the instructions tell you what you have to do. And then the lab report, you download this file. And this is what you type into. I don't wanna try anything now, okay. So this is what you would actually type in. So you type your name, type the purpose of the experiment, which can be found in the instructions. Then you fill in all your data, you answer some questions, fill in some data, answer some questions, go through the whole, the whole thing. Entering all your data, answering your questions, and writing your conclusions. Save this, make sure you save this, as either a Word document, save it as a PDF document, or print it out and take pictures of it, okay? I cannot grade documents that are saved as pages files. It's very important that you do not save your files as pages files, because I do all my grading on a PC, which doesn't handle pages, all right? So either save it as a Word document, save it as a PDF, or you can print it out and take pictures of it and then upload that. And then where it says submit completed work here, that's where you will click on it and then you will upload your file. And then I will be able to see it and grade it. And I grade all of them at the same time. So if you turn yours in early, awesome. You can turn it in early, um, but I'm not gonna grade them until they're all submitted, all right? So that's when it's due you just um, upload your file that way. And like I said, if you're, if you're going through this process and you run into any questions or problems, just send me a message through the um, message, your instructor, the instructor email, and we can get you taken care of. So again, go back to the homepage that just kind of resets things. Here's the week one announcement. That's where we were. Um, 
There's one last thing that I really think you should be aware of, and that is Remind. You can join our Remind class right here in Blackboard. Click that link. And then if you want to contact me via Remind, you may do so. Um, my office hours run 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So if you message me after five o'clock Eastern time, I will get to you the next day. If you message me through Remind, please make sure that you state your name and the course that you're in because I have more than one course right now using Remind and it doesn't tell me what course you're from. It just sends me your message, okay? So make sure that if you send me a message in Remind, you tell me your name and you tell me your course. That would be very helpful for me. I have an online office hour. It's through Zoom. It's Tuesday mornings from 1030 to 1120 Eastern time. And I will post that um, there on Blackboard. So if you want to talk to me um, on Zoom, that's the time every week that I have designated to be available. And if that's not a convenient time for you, or if you want to talk to me privately, like you shouldn't come to office hours and talk about your grade, right? Because that can be public. There can be other students in there. If you have something like a grade question, or you want to talk about your test, or you want to talk about um, why your grade is what it is, you know, something that should not be open to the whole world, please message me privately and we can schedule an appointment um, so that we can talk in a way where not everybody's there. Um, I'm pretty sure that's, that's it. The, the last thing uh, that I want to make sure that you're aware of is just make sure that you stay on top of the schedule. Okay, that is a really, really, really key component of being successful in any class, you know, whether it's online or on campus, but especially in an online class because you are the person who is um, keeping track of your schedule. You know, I don't, I don't see you in person every week. Um, you are there and you are the one who's ultimately responsible for your, for your schedule. So I really recommend you download the syllabus, you read through the syllabus carefully, contact me with any questions and look at the schedule and just really, you know, get yourself a calendar or um, set these dates in your phone or put, put reminders for yourself of things that are due because that is the number one reason why students um, get poor grades in online courses is they just don't keep up with the schedule. So my number one piece of advice for you is to please, please, please stay on top of your schedule. Uh, that being said, I am looking forward to working with you this semester. And if you have any questions about anything, I think this is pretty straightforward. Um, and I'm looking forward to having a semester with you. So I will talk to you later. Bye.